I am begging everyone watching this live show or listening on the radio to look into the facts I'm about to lay out, to find out they're absolutely true. In fact, worse than I can even say, because there's so many details. And then contact Congress, contact major corporations, ask to speak at your church, do whatever it is you have to do to expose this because in three months, Microsoft and then Apple and then Google, all of them by the middle of 2019, are implementing live access into your phone where they will see where you're going and what you're doing in live time. We already know they've been tracking us and doing that. But now they're going to have a consortium of neocon organizations, hardcore Soros-backed organizations. I'm about to show you mainstream news saying this. Specially selected by Obama and Hillary before they left office, groups in every U.S. intelligence agency, all 17, coordinating political minders that don't just spy on you, that send live-time messages over what you're browsing on the Internet. So it isn't like you go to somewhere on Facebook and there's an Alex Jones video, and then it puts up a link from Snopes saying this is fake, or from the Southern Poverty Law Center, or from the ADL, or from Media Matters. Literally, Soros, when you go to a site, breaking in and putting it over, it's going to be on your device. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Pat Buchanan has come out echoing basically my exact same words in a big editorial article. It's linked up on Infowars.com saying, memo to Trump, declare emergency, declare it now. And don't just declare it on the border because that declaration will allow you to remove a lot of the embedded Obama people. Be honest with the public about how we're under UN globalist attack. They're, they're teaching us that having a nation even existing is evil and is bad. Now, before I hit all of the incredible news, I'm going to hit the most important news ever when it comes to the concerted global program to censor nationalists, conservatives, and Christians off the internet. And then once that precedent has been set, the Wall Street Journal, seven months ago, a month and a half before my total purge, and then everybody else's purge, said, don't worry, in a 30-plus page subscription-only article, that we wrote about and had big excerpts of on Infowars.com said, don't worry, major newspapers and TV networks can be more profitable than ever because they said within one year, this was seven and a half, eight months ago, they said within one year, the internet will no longer be free, it will be like Netflix, and you will not be able to go, not just to quote fake news, once the precedent's set to do that, the real bonanza of authoritarianism is the monopoly. So once they get the KKK, oh, then they get Alex Jones, then they get, oh, Antifa. Then the conservatives come and say, yeah, you take them off too. And then you see, Jack Spratt could eat no fat. And his wife could eat no lean. So between the two of them, they licked the platter clean. Conservatives want to censor the liberals. Liberals want to censor the conservatives. The leftist professor class is out of, uh, in the background. They'll just take their mask off later, and they go in and are the fact checkers, the new royalty. Now, I want the listeners to listen to me very, very, very carefully. And I don't, and I don't say this to, to sound pompous. It's the opposite, and it scares the hell out of me. Because I don't want to be one of the only people that knows this when it's hiding in plain view. Let me, let me correct that. One of the only people that is opposing this program and researching it 
when it is a giant industrial scale program with over a uh, million people conservatively involved in it, it's a public Manhattan project hiding in plain view and they put it in foreign affairs and they put it in public affairs, both CFR rags, and they admit the whole architecture and they go to security conferences and they say it all. How they're, remember the neocons always wanted authoritarianism, <clears throat> the Chicago school, uh, Strauss that started the whole neocon, uh, you know, you know, modern idea, uh, thought that, you know, Hitler did a good job. He just shouldn't have been anti-Semitic. The neocons are the real group working with the Democrats against the Tea Party Liberty Republicans. And so you think we've got Congress, or, or, or we even did a few months ago. We didn't. We never had Congress. We never had the total trifecta of the legislative, the executive, the judicial. Now, with Ginsburg about to make a jump into hyperspace, and uh, the White House, the word is, is getting ready that uh, she's going to be having to retire, dying basically any day. Word is from little birdies is she's not even conscious right now. So these are good omens that God's giving us. I'm not, I mean, I wish nobody harm, even a horrible globalist like her, but uh, this is still a very good omen for the Republic. This is a little sign that they're all dropping like flies uh, with, with the Providence delivering. We need to pray for Providence. We need to pray big time. But let me just pull back because I always try to give a bunch of technicals because I know if some congressmen or women are listening or if executives are listening, they're actually into facts. They'll hear the things I'm saying and then go look it up so they understand this is not my view. And I understand large swaths of the public are unconscious and very lazy and quite frankly stupid. And everybody claims they know how stuff works. I really do know how things work. I know exactly how they work. And we had already reverse engineered this and predicted it before Trump won. It was gonna happen one way or the other. It's just harder for them because Trump won, but because Trump is so cut off and the whole bureaucracy is just ignoring him. He's like a big, powerful juggernaut meets a giant swamp. And so now the weight and the strength and everything starts making him bog in. So we're going to go to break. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to just quantify this and I'm going to announce what's happening in just big, colorful expansive statements the way the pundits do it and they never give you facts and then I'm gonna give you the facts afterwards instead of just going right into the facts but here's the bottom line the best way to describe this and what it is is a bunch of projects to censor the internet and control and social engineering and, and consolidate power for corporations not not just you know shut down quote right-wingers or what they call fake news or uh, populist but but to vertically integrate the entire economy and so there were a bunch of projects being tested in China, Europe, and other areas to bring the censorship here and, and the UK. And Hillary and others had it set up that once she got in, they were going to roll this out with the system I'm about to break down after the break when she won. Well, when she lost, they absolutely crapped themselves and accelerated the program to try to even keep Trump from getting into office because they rightfully know if, if this comes out, if people make this a political issue, instead of it being a technical, factoid, uh, academic issue, if the public digests this raw meat, this red meat, it's cyanide to the New World Order. You think the globalists are in trouble now. When I come back, I'm going to lay it out. But here's the bottom line. Obama, with the neocons, with large sections of U.S. intelligence, Defense Department, all of it, this is all public, set up a total Internet kill switch system that is manned by at least 100,000 people right now. With heads-up displays on your phone, on your computer, live time, and all new devices, Microsoft, Apple, Google, 
the idea that Apple says what happens on your phone stays on your phone. That is the biggest joke on the planet. It's already being beta tested. And in three months, it rolls out on the new Microsoft everything where they're in your phone live time and they put like the fact checking you see on Google and Facebook and Twitter when I had Buzz Aldrin on and they just put a fact check up saying, Jones says no one went to the moon, but Encyclopedia Britannica says we did. The damn interview says we went to the moon. See how that's fake news? Lying about me, but superimposed. It will not be on the site you go to now that opts in. It will be over all devices with a huge heads-up display through all these intelligence agencies, including Interpol, the reactivated Stasi in Germany. They've re Google's moving into this former Stasi headquarters. I mean, the magnitude is incredible, and they will all be... Remember when CNN was in my YouTube and knew how much money I was making and everything was calling for me to be banned? And people were like, that's crazy. How are they in your YouTube with Google? That Oliver Darcy and all of them are in this. They, they, they literally, that's going to be mainstream corporate media are now going to be the policemen in your phones, in your computers, and putting heads-up displays over your phone. And it's starting now. I mean, total control at device level. <laughs> I am begging everyone watching this live show or listening on the radio to look into the facts I'm about to lay out to find out they're absolutely true, in fact, worse than I can even say, because there's so many details, and then contact Congress, contact major corporations, ask to speak at your church, do whatever it is you have to do to expose this, because in three months, Microsoft, and then Apple, and then Google, all of them by the middle of 2019, are implementing live access into your phone where they will see where you're going and what you're doing in live time. We already know they've been tracking us and doing that. But now they're going to have a consortium of neocon organizations, hardcore Soros-backed organizations. I'm about to show you mainstream news saying this specially selected by Obama and Hillary before they left office, groups in every U.S. intelligence agency, all 17, coordinating political minders that don't just spy on you, that send live-time messages over what you're browsing on the Internet. So it isn't like you go to somewhere on Facebook and there's an Alex Jones video, and then it puts up a link from Snopes saying this is fake, or from the Southern Poverty Law Center, or from the ADL, or from Media Matters. Literally, Soros, when you go to a site, breaking in and putting it over, it's going to be on your device. Now, we've already seen this happen to InfoWars, where they didn't just delist us off of iTunes six months ago. We had links just to our own podcast and in the iPhone browser, they block you on an iPhone being able through that function on the phone to get to it. You understand, you go buy a phone and the next level is you can't go to Infowars.com. You can't click on it. You can't listen. And they've now got keyword and they've got audio, which is the next level, where then they won't even let you listen to my voice. It's automatically blocked. Now, listen to me carefully. This is for everybody. This is going to totally vertically integrate the entire world. Once they're done doing this to political groups they don't like, the Wall Street Journal, again, a month and a half before we got purged, we're going to show you that article, said, when we're done with Jones as the test case, we're going to take everyone off and you will maybe have a thousand channels on the internet. And the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times will be the king fact checkers and then they'll disseminate it out to the minders who they've already got 100,000 trained. I have the articles right here, who are already on Facebook, YouTube, Google, Twitter, already practicing taking Franklin Graham off and taking Gavin McInnes off. 
And then, oh, we're sorry, it was an accident, but just teaching you, they're there. Oh, we made a mistake, sorry, you're back, Allie Alexander. But by the way, don't go on Alex Jones' show. Oh, Joe Rogan, yeah, we, we blocked your podcast getting uploaded onto iTunes when you had Alex Jones on. Don't have him on again or we'll delist you. And by the way, don't tell anybody, Joe. Oh, but there's the good news, Joe. Soon we're going to have a, a program where your administrator, if they're trusted and sign some paperwork, you're going to be able to go flag things that are about you that aren't true, and you're going to be able to confidentially talk to us. And, Joe, if you do a good job for about a year with us, you're going to be able to take stuff down yourself. How would you like to be a trusted administrator? Oh, and then Alex Jones puts out a couple of videos about you. They get a million views last week on other people's channels. And then, then a little message from YouTube. You need to watch what you're putting up uh, or your whole channel's gone. See how that works? See how that works? So, th see, that's how corruption works is they get you involved and they give you some power like the Nazis did. So remember what all these senators have said. We're putting them on screen of your TV viewer. Democrat senators have said, we took Alex Jones off. Now there's thousands more need to be banned. And they went further. They said, they need to be banned from radio and TV as well. And we're putting in systems that'll do that as well. Where the DVRs and receivers in your TVs won't even pick up who they want blocked. Oh, and remember this week? Don't even show the president's speech. They were trying to introduce that idea to you. You see? And, oh, they had a big Defense Department meeting a few months ago. We first reported on Infowars.com. And guess what? They said that by the end of the next year, the internet as we know it will be over and everyone will be censored, but selected corporations allowing the orderly direction of society. That's called dictatorship. Direction means dictating. I mean, the orderly directing of society. My God, the op the, I'm going to get directed by Mr. Fly, the neocon. And I've got all the articles, all the names, all their admissions, but they're, they're establishment publications. Or then their mainline publications selling you on, oh, thank God, there's a consortium of groups helping fact check, but they're not doing enough. Oh, of course. And then I, everywhere I go, everything I've said or done, they put a lie on it. They don't even act like you're smart. A great example was I talked about having Buzz Aldrin on 10 years ago and how I believe the moon landing happened and a lot of other things, and I never said it didn't happen. And then they saw the news. Jones says the moon landing never happened. It's in Texas Monthly you know, on, the, on the cover of this, this, this month that, you know, Jones said the moon landing never happened. And under it was Encyclopedia Britannica saying, Jones says the moon landing didn't happen, but it did. And the video, I'm saying it did with Buzz Aldrin, the second person to walk on the moon. Does he have credibility? No, 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 no. Someone under the Southern Poverty Law Center, I went and looked it up, has a, uh, a, 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 a seal you know, like the old dukes would have, or kings, of uh, putting their mark in, in the wax. But Encyclopedia Britannica, that old respected name, is now Southern Poverty Law Center. They just load whatever they want, and they go, well, that's, you know, that's respected. Let's get Encyclopedia Britannica. Nobody reads those anymore. We can get that name for nothing. And let's, we'll now be Encyclopedia Britannica, and we'll say the moon's made of cheese if we want. And then Encyclopedia Britannica, Jones says that nobody ever went to the moon and the video above is me saying we did. But see, they're going to hone their systems down, I guess, and, and not make it as obvious, right? Like them saying there's no border crisis and that, you know, Trump's a liar over and over again. So when we come back, I'm going to explain all this. We got loaded, huge guests. I'm never good at telling you about the huge guests we have coming on. Cassandra Fairbanks is a great lady, good friend of mine over at the Gateway Pundit. She got in, had a lengthy discussion with Julian Assange uh, and has got some big breaking exclusive stuff for us coming up. Uh, we've got so many other big guests as well today. I'll tell you about those on the other side. But do you understand, on a Richter scale, the censorship you've seen is a one compared to the 10 you're about to witness. Total censorship spying takeover by criminal class. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have the complete Internet takeover plan, blueprints. Within three months, every computer device in the country already has the back doors built into it with devices made five, six years ago 
will be broken into via your terms of service. You won't be allowed to not have it on there by the Southern Poverty Law Center, the ADL. The ADL used to have to break into police stations to get information, and they got convicted of that and got sued over it uh, by Media Matters, George Soros, and by the main neocon think tanks with Defense Department yearly funding that Obama put in place with oversight by special offices set up by Obama and Hillary at the CIA. And just as you've seen in China where you can't send on phones emojis of the, of the Taiwanese flag, and then that went worldwide for a while, or you can't send images of Winnie the Pooh because the dictator doesn't like it because people make fun of him in China, so Winnie the Pooh's banned. And they've got a firewall and systems that detect that, and you can't send that over well, platforms. Uh, the EU uh, just signed a law banning memes. By law, you must pre-approve them and scan them through a government system before you put a meme out. That's prior restraint on speech. This is way beyond 1984. And so starting in three months and rolling out through the rest of the year, and we have neocons at major events admitting this. We have all the articles admitting it. They're just bragging. They say, you think Alex Jones was a big deal. You think us banning thousands of conservatives was a big deal. We only did that to get the left wing on board. Uh, the Democrats are so sick and tired of their own constituents being anti-war and everything, we're going to ban all of them, and then the conservatives who feel like they've been wronged are going to take the bait. And once that's done, we're going to set the precedent to ban everybody. It doesn't matter if you've got a show about gardening on YouTube. It's If it's popular and you've got 100,000 subscribers and you've got a great arborist business that, you know, sends plants around the country, there's there's a bunch of those. I've ordered plants off some of those. Uh, I've even talked to them on the phone. I'm like, wow, you know, how's your business doing? How much money are you guys making? I'm like, wow, you know, in the future, they're going to... I was ordering some trumpet vines uh, just six months ago and I brought it up to him. I said, you know, they're coming for you next and they're not going to let you operate. <laughs> Funniest thing is I got an email from the guy and he said, how did you know that? I, I just started getting contacted by YouTube and they said, things are about to change. I'm going to have to pay them to even be on YouTube, uh, if, if, but they're going to have a conference and I, I should fly there. And I said, I know brother. And see, we're being hit by such a criminal takeover, such a mafia takeover that just to have any type of online store to sell beanie babies online uh, to sell roses online uh, to just be involved in commerce period you're going to have to pay the piper to the big tech giants and by the time they do that everyone else is going to be shut off by the time they get around to all the little merchants and all the regular people it'll be too late but here's the mega scandal, and here's the takeaway. Hiding in plain view, the head of Google, the head of Facebook, the head of Twitter, the head of all these groups, they go to Congress and they say, we've never censored anybody. We've never manipulated search results. We've never been paid to promote a search result. That's the whole model. It's like saying the, the American flag doesn't have red on it. But you know it's got red on it. Mega lies. You know why they're so confident to lie? Because they've got a perfect storm where six and a half, seven months ago, right before I got banned, the Wall Street Journal put out a, again, huge article that I'll show you here in a moment saying, we're going to take over the whole internet and end it being free and you're not just going to pay to play. We're not going to let anybody on it but select companies. And then, of course, they're all going to start fighting with each other, too, over how many can be there. It's, it's a total takeover because the Internet was going to decentralize things. It was going to end all these monopolies, and it was starting to do it. And the globals are like, no, this is supposed to bring in total control. And so they're doing it. It's all over the German news now that they're going to train stations. First, I saw it two days ago in one city. Now it's all over. And they're going to attractive women who have blonde hair and saying, are you a racist? Are you a nationalist? And the women say, no, 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 I'm not. Like they believe they're going to be arrested. And the police say, good, because you'll be arrested if you are. So now they're even saying, we'll take you away because you're white. 
And one woman said, but you're blonde haired. And the cop pulled out a breathalyzer and shoved it in her mouth, tried to take her to jail for talking back. And then the Germans went, oh, don't worry. It's a social experiment. Of course it is. They go, we're not really going to arrest you for blonde hair. It's a social experiment. I called Watson that morning before anybody else had picked it up. And he says, it's crazy. And I said, no, Paul, it's meant to make them insecure and scared and spread the word. So when they really start arresting people for what color they are, people won't say, oh, I care about that because they've already heard about it. And they go, oh, that's just an experiment. See, they're testing you. It, it, it's studies show when they show you a bunch of murders on TV, you become desensitized to the real thing. That's why they show soldiers simulated shooting. The first video games were, you know, of, of, of killing people up close who, who weren't real. So that when you kill the real people, you don't care. It's a desensitization. And look, I know you know all this, folks. Let me tell you, only being aware of this will defeat it. You can't, you can't look at the news, Fox News, CNN, any of these things, and think you're getting what the story is. Even if they're reporting on the basic facts, it's all about distracting you from what's really going on. Like, Trump doesn't need an emergency to build the wall. He could do it with existing military funds with a selected emergency by declaring it an emergency. He needs it to circumvent and remove these networks Obama put in under an emergency. And of course, we're next year's news today. I've been telling you this since Trump got in, he's got to declare the emergency to override the previous emergency. And I'm telling you now, in fact, here's the takeaway that up front, I want everyone to know. Obama and the neocons know there's a populist uprising worldwide. They thought Hillary was going to win. But even if she did win or didn't win, they were going to incrementally in the internet as we know it. And it's here, and it's the old saying of, first they came for this group, then they came for that group, and then when they came for me, there was nobody left to stand up for me. This is an exact plan where you pick off one person and then another, and then another, and then a whole group, and then thousands in a day, and thousands the next day, and thousands the next day, and then you, then you, oh, people are getting upset, let's cycle back, okay, we're gonna quit, we apologize for Franklin Graham. Oh, we apologize for Gavin McGinnis on YouTube, and then they take him down later. And so it's, it's all a psychological plan, and only by being aware of it, only by being conscious of it, only by understanding it, do we have any chance to beat it? So again, normally I get up here and I talk about one of these issues and all I do is just start showing you article after article, showing different pieces, how they're spinning, how they're lying, how they're admitting, how it all goes together. And then I never actually get to the big picture. I just got to the big picture, told you exactly what's going on. Now when we come back, I'll go over all the articles and the proof and the legislation and the video clips of senators admitting it. And then we got a bunch of big guests coming up today. But this is it, and I want to explain it. It's not just that they're going to put over what you're doing on your phone or your computer or your Alexa or your other home, quote, device that's spying on you, your, your little minder. It's that when you go to Alexa and say, Alexa, pull up Alex Jones at InfoWars.com, at first it's going to say, that's fake news and a bad person. Uh, but okay, later it's going to say, I'm reporting you for doing that. And by the way, I've been listening to you. And later, it's not going to even let you know. It's just not going to let you go there and not respond. They actually admit that in the documents, too. A robot in your house controlling what you listen to. This is an emergency transmission from deep in the heart of Texas, the U.S. resistance against a global corporate combine empowered and funded by Communist China, allied with the big mega banks that set up Communist China in 1949. The Communist Chinese have taken control of U.S. telecommunications infrastructure. The Communist Chinese have taken control of Hollywood. The Communist Chinese have taken control of the main universities. This is all confirmed. This is not a drill. Big tech in Silicon Valley is almost completely run by the Communist Chinese government. They've officially become state-run. Apple, 100%. Google is now making the transition and announcing a merger and total worldwide censorship. 
They are now beta testing using me as the straw man, a demonized version of Alex Jones to do that. This is happening. This is not like the other probes before that were meant to get you used to probes and censorship, thinking you would adapt to censorship by just putting up with it. Now this attack is thousands and thousands and thousands of times the magnitude of all previous attacks. This is a titrated dose, reverse psychological warfare operation using adapt and overcome subversion paradigm manipulation. In layman's terms, they are manipulating the fact that we adapt to being oppressed. We adapt to being pressed at the low dosages of oppression. Now when the megaton hits us of the total takeover, we try to adapt to the poison infusion instead of not knowing it's a lethal dose if we accept the dose. Total Internet of Things integration global social score complete command and control system. It is the virtual reality AI weapon system now attacking the United States with traitors inside the major security agencies blocking Trump's resistance of the program and attempting to stop us from removing the tentacles of the chi slash big tech banking combine emergency situation. I have been chosen for destruction because I brought you this information and have been battering, ramming it out as much as I can. They want to double use me as they always do in any complex system of mathematical deception where every angle of my good is turned against us. So they take what I've said, being sincere, build me into an insincere person in the straw man. I'm a person that cares about life and children and is against these wars. And so they make me a herder of children. And then they build me into this lie to then set the distraction while they're actually censoring all of you to make a debate about Alex Jones. So even if I didn't sell out to them, they now use me as an archetype to serve them by being the main distraction. I have now been captured by the enemy in the information warfare fulcrum and it's being used against you. Only your full understanding of this key will break you free from this paradigm. I have given you the transmission. Now break free. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Thomas Jefferson. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. CBD rich hemp oil is totally organic, all natural, something God gave us, and it doesn't have THC in it, and it's totally legal in all 50 states. This is where everybody's going. This is what your body actually needs. There are so many different spectrums of this natural oil that comes from hemp, now legal and lawful in all 50 states, that you need to just go research it for yourself. Now, obviously, there's been a giant marijuana legalization craze that Soros has funded the last 10 years. I've not been involved in that. It's a huge bubble. This is not marijuana. There are hundreds of varieties of hemp. This is industrial hemp that has all the good attributes, but not the bad attributes that turn people into potheads in their basements, picking and eating their boogers. This is the good CBD from the organic hemp oil. And there are so many great products that you simply need to go to InfoWarsStore.com and link over to WashingtonsReserve.com or simply go to WashingtonsReserve.com yourself to look at all the products read about the history and to see the facts for yourself. So 360 win. Uh, there are different CBD uh, rich hemp oil extractions for many, many, many different uses. You owe it to yourself to go look at this for yourself and to also understand it helps fund the info war. People wonder why I haven't gotten into CBD oil. Well, because some of the stuff's got problems, some of it can get you high, and some of it can get you arrested. This is not that legal in all 50 states. It's from hemp, not marijuana. It's totally legal. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we can ship to all 50 states right now from the great website, WashingtonsReserve.com.